just and I brought you the fanage, but this is my goal to this kind right, of look. Right. And I, those, I'm i going to make those skirts yeah. myself, and then I'm going to make the top, the uh, Carson right. top. Yeah. Right but there, the fenders here just with the other one, that's done. Just the back need to be enhanced, and I got you the other fenders that could go right on this. Yeah. Do you think, uh, like the Auburn windshield, I mean, you could do a center post. But it yeah. just looked too laid back when I put it on in comparison to. It's for that Morris. Testing. Hi, I'm back in the story. <laughs> I've been gone for 20 years and I appeared and look, my dream has came true. His spaceship just landed in huh. the backyard. Yeah, we're back at it again. Look at my smile. Yippee yeah. yay yay. Um, yeah, you know, something yeah, no, like that. That's it exactly. With it's weird because when I was coming up, I said, "Where are we going to get a DeBall windshield?" Well, my friend Rick, you know, he makes the plaques. Oh, he has all the molds for. All right, now. good. Cause cause that's what this needed, and actually, that's exactly what I was thinking about last night. But yeah, no, the look. I mean, it changes the whole proportion, and I know we're going to have some pissed off people because it was an interesting rat rod. But when we're done with this thing. We could go to any car show, including Pebble Beach. I mean, look at this. Is that, like, beautiful, man? Yeah, but the mechanical stuff, I don't know how much you saw. But it's so, it's so good. Yeah, and no, I've seen it last time. No, yeah, no, she's we there. got to yeah. figure out an air cleaner because it's so low. Yeah. Like, this is the height of the hood. So we have to come up with some kind of intake or whatever. But, I mean, it runs. It's all there. All the foundation's there. All the foundation, except for... You could almost put a quarter under there. Yeah, I know you like them low, but right now the chassis is on the ground, so yeah. that's why I put those side pipes to try to just make it a little bit lower. And they're just dummies. They don't actually exhaust go through there. Wow, that thing's crazy. I mean, to see it, I haven't seen it chopped up like this. Well, look how low it is, too. I mean, it's just crazy how, how short And, I mean, things. what you had done before was interesting. I mean, it was cool, but... It was just a show. You couldn't. It wasn't practical. You couldn't get, you in, couldn't get in or drive the thing. You could barely. Now, at least by doing this, we could actually use this thing and the potential. There's going to be nothing like it. And you know, people, I guarantee you, this car is going to be incredible. And like everything else, Ian, that we've ever done. Because when I said cut the roof, you cut the sides, you cut the trunk. But hey, the the car told you, remember, what's our whole thing? Right. The car tells us what it wants. Right. Hey, that's cool, because I thought I was going to have a roof on it and just have the top cut off, but you cut it all off, and I'm glad I was praying you Well, did. I wanted to finish this, you know, with the rush of the yeah, TV yeah. show. That's what I was getting into. It's like we got to finish all the loose ends inside first, too. Yeah, no, that's... So. That's why I just yanked the gas tank out, but I want to patch all this stuff up and make it, you know, nice. We're going to go to Pebble Beach in this thing. Uh, the vid Look at it from here, how wide it is. It's like right out of Pebble crazy. Beach. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> hmm. They're going to put up the roadblock. With, with this and the Zephyr, they're going to be cool cars. That Zephyr's pretty cool, too. I've been watching that. Yeah, that's the yeah. roller now. The way everything flows, the front end's done. The side view's done. Once we just do the Deval windshield wipe, the windshield, do the side on this, you got to just, back here needs a little bit more enhancement, right? Mm -hmm. I heard it that just got to bulge out. And I brought, of course, you know me, I brought more yeah. stuff. In fact, right. I should take them out now so you can see what I'm talking about. And I got another truck of stuff coming out. Oh, good. We need another truck of stuff. What are these? These just fenders I had laying around. I don't, in case we need bits and pieces of that, oh. the main ones are going to be the back ones. Are those Zephyr? Yes. The the big the big car, not yeah. the not the nice uh, smaller ones, the big limo one. Oh, you got the skirts and everything. Yeah. In case we need them, but I'm going to be making other ones. Yeah, we'll just leave the front and just tap in the back. Yeah, because we could even have it go back a little further. Yeah, just cut in there and add on to this, let it stick out. So this is actually coming down to here.
and that'll give you that bulge. So you want it to get wider from the door I want frame. it wider. Right. Right. Look at the front. No, it's huge. I agree. It's out of yeah. proportion. The whole car is going wide to skinny. We got to, even if these were a little wider, I don't care. Because mm -hmm. I could adjust the wheels, then I could put wide wheels on it too if I had it right. Rims. They're pretty wide as it is. Okay. Eight inch, but uh, yeah, those are like D, you know, the D slot racing wheels mm -hmm. are like that. But just, you know, how you did this. Right, right. That one she piece there. Bring it way so out. it goes up and down. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is uh, the first Zephyr we ever worked on. We just uh, widening in it out. Because look at if you look at it from the back, Jamie, the Super fronts are fat. fat and the backs are so narrow. Yeah. Those need to come out at least to here, up, and then down. We're just extending it out to give it some width. Cause in the front, the two, it doesn't match the back. The, the backs are too narrow. I didn't realize how wide this thing was, Ian. Yeah. Yeah, now you kind of space this out. Yeah. Yeah, and actually even back a little. I know, I, I still just, well, actually, yeah, I could go, because all this could go away, just sticking out to the back. And then, you know, wherever you tie this in, but yeah, no, see how much. Well, we could split this. Yeah. Actually, you're right. Yeah, that's it right there. Yeah. Just split that. I agree. Yeah, split it maybe about right there. Yeah. Actually, right there. And then from here, the other truck bringing more material, I brought some little iron so we could see. And that way, the trunk comes from here. Straight back to there, up right. there. And then, because it's so flat and there's nothing happening, I don't know, maybe we go with a little bit of peak on it too. Well, that's what I was thinking, the way that your green auburn is so freaking yeah. deluxe. And it's something maybe in that bow tail style, all right? Yeah, the bow tail. And there's a couple of things, since it's so flat, either we do a bow tail or we do like from here, coming from here to here, dying out. Mm -hmm. You know, two pods like two pods going right. down because there's so much room. But I think if we just peek the back just a little, not a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, shit, to be crazy, that would be an interesting rumble seat. You know, that thing pops Somebody up and you got to see a seat parade car, there. right? I mean, crazy. Because oh. I mean, that's what this is. And now that the roof is off, you can enjoy the cruising and the driving around at the beach with the wind hitting your face and. Well, that's what I was thinking too, because I mean, a car this massive just have two seats. It's like this, like you're saying, it's, it's just all wasted space. Right. But, yeah. but it's still, I Would mean, you the want width. To see this structure removed. This was just something we put. Yeah, in. no. I, right now, I think tell we that level would be good because we're just gonna, you know, this is gonna come in and round it, right? Because yeah. for the interior. Oh yeah, yeah. So we come in and round it. And I brought that muffler tubing too. Remember what we do with yeah, the muffler tubing edge, yeah. to do around here. Yeah, and the thing is, it's a Lincoln Mark Seven, the whole drivetrain. You know, it's a four link with airbags in the back and the Camaro. Oh yeah, suspension. now yeah, this thing's gonna drive beautiful. It just yeah, sat then, out in the weather all winter and yeah. got dusty. Yeah, and then just Rusty. with with the mufflers too, because how are they coming out the side there? There's no, they're dumps. There's just headers. Okay. There's nothing. Oh uh, yeah, because I'm just gonna yeah, all this could come off, and they're gonna literally just come out to the back. Yeah. Because that's what we could do back here, do the mufflers. Yeah, the yeah. There's there's room under the chassis. Yeah. To okay. Get there so that's what we do, time. and that way the fenders just I just need them that width or even wider, just why it gives you the stance. And I and with that I think shit we nailed it. I got, I just got two right skirts, but I have the left hobby took. I remember I bought five of these yeah, all the Zephyr cars, right, right. Yeah. and I I finally I threw them. I just threw them all, got them all, took them to the junkyard. All and the luckily, right. hobby said, hey, I want to take a couple parts. So I said, hey, dude, I need my parts back. <laughs> That's how it works sometimes. Well, the bumpers you brought, I was looking at those, and I don't know, they might be too bulky. Yeah, talking about these, it was bugging me yesterday. Yeah. It's taken away, right? So we're gonna have to do pretty much what we do on all of them, no bumpers. Yeah, because the headlights have such character. Yeah, that thing kind of just interfered with it. Yeah.
That's what held me up when I was starting to modify the back one. I just stopped. Early. That's taking your vision off the front end. Yeah. Because without that so look at character. it. Yeah, no, we're not doing nothing there. Yeah. Just, yeah, we'll take the whole look, but this stuff, it all flows. Shit, you're pretty close to what it is. The fenders and the trunk line, it just, this area is so flat. And I think if we do a flat piece, it won't do nothing. We're going to have to come up at an angle or do something even. Let me see. I got a picture of, of like a little wing, but this even longer. Mm -hmm. But you see how this has the two things there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this would be longer and just some kind of fin. But the fin has got to come up. But yeah, because I'm going to do a Carson top on this. Yeah. It just... And I never use it. The Carson top is just for show, cause then it's too small and you we can't drive it. Kind of like the fiberglass roof on the bus. That's a Carson yeah. top. But a lot of times they pad them. They'll put a little padding on it. But it's removable. Yeah, it looks it's like a convertible, but it's just one piece. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's removable. Yeah, cause that's how I want the back fenders to look, just fluffy like that bulging out and look at the front oh like the double bubble yeah i'm gonna do that oh, out of okay. fiberglass oh, and they're on when i want them and they're off when That's i want good. them so it's, the car's gonna have two looks yeah. so yeah it just this way you know it might look good here because we're gonna just whatever rims we put on and if not i got that other double look to it right so when i go into pebble beach i gotta put these on it right when right. i'm going to a regular hot rod show i just leave it like this Maybe I'll take this fender, this outside, and weld it to here, you know? Yeah. And that way it has, like, your auburn, right? Because you want this to come out. Yeah. And then if we could kick it up like you did put that other sheet of metal. I brought you all the metals be coming any minute. So because look at this line here. Last time I came, see how it's a defined line? Yeah, yeah. And I love that. So it's coming up to a point. Okay. So then this here will come up, come up to a point. Well, on your other Zephyr, we raised the fender. And then raise the fender. Yeah. The bulkier it is, the better, because I was looking at it, the front longer than the back, the back stubby, and that's cool. But I just need it to be enhanced, like more proportion uh, wider. I need this thing wider. Yeah. No, I was thinking about that, too. The nose, once we took the roof off it, with the visor, the nose got even longer. Yeah. And piece. then, yeah, look at this hood, too. <coughs> it's coming up, right? Yeah. So we got to copy the back, too. Actually come up and then round sort of up and then round a little so round and up mm -hmm. and that then the rest is just finished the interior gonna be pretty interesting too so did you have any kind of a car hood or anything uh i brought some up? metal i got uh they're taking off i got a 50 one trunk i didn't have time to take it off okay but work on the fenders, and I'm looking for something. And I'll probably need two of them because it's so wide. Yeah, this is a huge space. So we could put something so together. I'll just cut this whole pan off the back. Yeah. I'll leave this. Yeah. Take all that sheet metal right yeah. off. Yeah. And that way, when that dies out, too, because. Yeah. And that's, yeah, not even too bad either. The main thing is, wherever we're going to start, just wanted to stick out just a little bit further, not much, maybe three inches, four inches from where the body ends and then comes up. Okay. Yeah, but either, I'm, I'll see if I could find some trunks, a couple of trunks. If not, we just have to weld something up in the middle a little bit higher and then just come up to it. Bring the material up. But just putting these fenders on and enhancing these is gonna be pretty nice. So not that high. Yeah, little, yeah just a, a, an inch or so higher than the other one. Yeah, yeah, because whatever you do, it's going to really show it. It just got to be at least this wide, if not wider. Wider isn't, is, yeah. Yeah. But I noticed with the Cadillac, it's like, it's really pinched back. Maybe we could bring this out a little bit. Yeah, no, and I'm cool with that too. Yeah, maybe a half that distance, maybe. In this height. is what... Uh, Right, that's about four inches. Four inches, two inches is cool. Okay. 
and it's still enough to give me that. That's two. Yes, that's it. And actually, that bulky too, man. I mean, that's what I was thinking. I was just stacking them right outside. Yeah. Yeah. Split this and bring it up to here. Yeah, split exactly. Just because it has to start from this point here, yeah, yeah, yeah. wherever that comes out. So this could be put here. Right. And then, this, yeah, and actually, because this here, I mean, that's still cool because I'm just going to blend that in. So it just, there's this running board, fender, and the fender star, running board, fender star. Right, like it's supposed to be. Yeah, right, exactly. Between the fenders. But by doing that, the fab will be done besides working the trunk out in the windshield. So if you could get your buddy, whatever that is, I'll, I'll get those. I'll, I called them yesterday yeah. to see where that's at. The, yeah. the molds are made. Just, and how tall were they? They're like 12 inches. Did he? Yeah, I was looking for, let me look once more. I was looking for the side arms. I, I guess he still has them. I used to have a couple of aluminum ones, but that's, you know, years go by. But yeah, what a difference with the windshield off. And now it's falling into proportion. People, I mean, what you had done before, you and Alan, was definitely a masterpiece. And you either loved it or didn't love it. So <coughs> we're going to piss some people off. But in the end, I think they're going to really see what we're doing. So the thing is, everybody has different, you know, likes and dislikes. And, you know, all you people out there, do what your heart tells you. And listen to your automobile because sometimes you want to go one way and the car just it doesn't work and it ends up going another way. And you just do what you feel and what the car wants you to do. I know there was so much work and effort put into what Ian and Alan were working on and that was cool. But now the car is going to be more usable. What people don't understand if I would have sit in it, the roof came to here on me, so I'd be like, so I, it'd be cool to look at, but I don't build cars to look at. I build cars to drive and for other people to look at at car shows, and, and you know, you meet some really cool people out there, and that's why I love building all these cars because and all of your people. Cars are drivable. They're all drivable, and you know, we'll trailer them to the long events, you know, because I'm not driving three or four hours. I mean, the rocks and all the stuff on there, but uh, once we're there, I love just showing them off and driving them around and meeting all the cool people because it's there's cool. It's not white. It's not black. It's not rich. It's not poor. It's car people, man. Yeah. Well, that's the exact opposite of me. You can't drag me out of the house. <laughs> to barely go to a car yeah. show. No, I, I love I talking to the... people. <laughs> I don't know where those windshield parts are, but we'll figure out something. Yeah, no, cool. That's cool. So that's all I see on this car. I mean, the only other thing, but I don't know what, because these fenders come square. Would that be a deal to round that off on the bottom on these two front fenders? Well, it interferes with the door, obviously, but I mean, we could, uh, like we did with your Zephyr, we could put suicide doors in because there's no door latches in this. Yeah, I'm going to go see about uh, if I have another set of suicide doors. But yeah, well, the, the only thing since everything's curved. round, the only thing that isn't round is this corner, but I love it to here. The only thing I don't like is this one little corner. Maybe I don't know if there's a way down. we could just round this corner off. The ending's good at just, just to right here. Sure, there's nothing in there. Yeah, just pull that one corner down. That way it's round, down, round, and everything's round. And we've already you know, enhanced it so much, it's not an original car, so the purists can't say, hey, look what he did to that caddy fender. Oh, no, it's too far. It's too far gone already. There's no question about that. But yeah, see, because this is cool. I have no problem with this, and I have no problem with this. It's just, just, right. just this one little corner, just so it rounded it up a little. Yeah. So that way it's round to round it. Sure. Then the fab is done, and then... Yeah, because 38 was that kind of transition year where you're that's what jamie and i was discussing with her uh it's got this all this art deco but look at the, everything is squared off right yeah nothing is like the organic yeah, kind of no. art deco stuff it's all very yeah. square so that's why i guess they did that but it's like a mismatch i'm so voluptuous to just like that yeah. hard cut that's the only thing that doesn't flow is that one corner 
the width and everything good. It just if you could just soften that corner. That's why I might have another set of these to even put that end on there. But you're still going to have to. I was looking at that. That's my first thought because those are the same square. But yeah, see that? I mean, you could splice that in. That's it right there at that same level. Or I think it still would probably be easier just to cut this here and, and then yeah. just this one little point and just we work that because everything is perfect the width everything it just this coming out just got to go down just a little yeah no i'll mimic this curve then i'll just make it yeah. template off that and yeah that in there and then everything flows it'll change the whole dynamics of this car wow she's cool i already see her yeah and your guy who does the bumpers and stuff he could fix this cast yes I, yeah i can't broke. yeah so yeah, i'd good. love to keep that on there yeah i'll take it off and you can take it with you but I slammed the hood and she broke right off. And maybe she didn't want it, remember. <laughs> well, this is 32 Cadillac. This is the real deal. So the hair and the freaking... Oh, yeah, no, that is cool. Yeah. But yeah, you no, know, I could have that. That's just epoxy. That'll yeah. clean up. Yeah, no, it's amazing because I hadn't watched this episode, too. I'm building this. I mean, I, shit, you guys cut the heck out of this thing. Yeah. And it was a lot of effort. And, you know, I know, I mean, I guess you're showing your skills off to, for me to come in and just take it all away. But in return, this car is going to give you a whole different look and there's different type of people. Hey, well, I'm kind of past the rusty stuff anyway. Yeah. You know, it's like, I like to see a nice yeah. finished paint job over that. 27 years ago, I met you and this, what you were doing. Remember that? Yeah. Right. Sun Valley. Right. And I said, dude, all you're getting is beer and a uh, case of cigarettes to do your work and that's when we started working together yeah no true story i mean good thing i quit the beer and not the cigarettes yeah but yeah no even the door lines flow is that original door the way that curved like that no we made that because we shortened the car like i don't know even no 30 inches uh -huh. this car was huge it was a big four door you know so this is the opening of the back door. So when we brought it in, we had to splice them together. It's all a blur. I barely remember. No, we made all that out of round, but this is the door jam for the back door right here. Yeah, this was somewhere over here. Wow. That's and I figure you want to change the dash out, right? Right? You want to put in one of those spaceship consoles or whatever. Or something. We'll figure that out. But once we do the fab, but actually that's not looking bad. We'll just enhance that for sure. Yeah, I don't have a center. That's what I was asking. Yeah. The Cadillac that year was weird. That was all plastic. Oh, it and, wasn't even metal. And for, well, because of the war. I guess. Yeah, 40, uh, 30. 38. Th yeah. 38. Yeah. Yeah, it was like m melted plastic. It was weird. Like the sun did something to it. Super strange. It seems like foam plated plastic. Or some material like that. I don't really know. <laughs> and it's weird. It looks so much smaller because once you had that top on, but visually, people to see this in real life, even with that panel look, that was a shorty panel. I mean, real yeah. short. Because to look at it now, it's like that was a panel impossible. It's too short. Yeah. So, you know, I didn't really see it in. Yeah, the wheelbase, the wheelbase is one inch longer than a VW Bug, so uh -huh. it's not a big car. It's like 99 or 100 inch wheelbase. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just with the tail, the fenders come way out past the axle. I and you want to get rid of those tail lights? Uh, yeah, right now I do. Okay. And I know they're cool, but they it's are. not going to go flow there, but that's what you're going to put on. Well, the one thing I was thinking from the stars, like, well, you're committed to having your license plate up here. You know? Yeah. Like there are, yeah. That, if you got two of those. And I was thinking ahead, I got your gas cap first this time. So well, you're ready. there's nothing in there as yeah. usual, but you got But no, that's cap. good. Thank you. That and the license plate. So that, <laughs> yeah. that's my MO, though. Yeah. That's one thing, if you don't know, that uh, Victor paints his cars and then realizes there's no gas cap, and they have to figure out how to fill the gas. Or a place for the license plate, license but plate, right. that's all irrelevant. Yeah. The car looks cool. How we get there's another story. Well, like with the T-Bird, we're digging in the back, trying to figure out how to put the gas. When Brick and I took the T-Bird to Albuquerque, we were like, where do you even put the gas in this thing? Yeah, no. <laughs> digging through a bunch of interior fabric. and. There is no gas cap. I'm 
on the outside. Of no, it's hidden. But again, it's just like, well, you didn't even think about it. Oh, yeah. It and that's my problem, too, with all the cars I got. I forgot I even how to open the doors on half of them because right. we do unique things there. How many cars are there now? 20? Uh, no, I got rid of a couple. There's oh. only like 16. Okay. They're all, I have no cars. They're all works of art. Anybody, I don't build car, we build art. I oh, mean, look I at this is art. It's all sculpture, exactly. It's like anybody could just do a restoration. We're not trying to do that. Yeah, and actually in the next one, we got to work on when you get a chance of Jack's vehicle. Yeah, I know. His truck is just yeah. sitting there too. And I don't know what happened with that. The only thing I could think is it was so hot that summer when I was doing the body work yeah. that the body filler just failed. It just came right off of the truck. It's crazy. People don't realize the amount of effort and money. And I mean, most people to do what we do probably spend, I say, 500% more than what we do. I mean, you know, I mean... Well, it's because we're here doing it ourselves. This is literally is like the backyard mechanic yeah. shop because we do it all uh, do it all here. You know, even you with the upholstery at yeah. your place, you got the guy to come to your yeah. place. You got the sewing machine. Otherwise, you drop it off at a shop, and it's just cha ching, cha ching. Yeah, because no, people see, man, look at all these guys' cars. You know, all the money he's got, he's throwing into it. People that spend five to thirty thousand for upholstery i think i spent fifteen to two thousand for any car that i own right. paint job same thing well, i mean a paint job i mean don't get me yeah. wrong it's not you know a can dig it car can dig it paint out probably thirty forty grand but yeah. it's worth every penny of it going through all the layers and stuff but hey we're going to drive these things all the time hey we take it down to metals no. strip it seal it primer paint it and it's not exactly perfect but it's enough to like do what we do at 10 percent of what we should be yeah, paying no, paint products are expensive no and that but too it's all the labor that to get it there it's uh and you know you take it to a shop they have a reputation they want to give you some kind of you know not warranty necessarily but yeah some kind of a guarantee that it's good work and just because your inflatable paint booth lost air one time oh, yeah. in the middle of the paint job <laughs> that was crazy and you know what the auburn was always green and i said i'm painting the auburn my wife let's paint it a burgundy color i said okay we painted it beautiful and then it was getting cold at night so i went to plug in a heater and i blew the circuit <laughs> and i'm going wow and i had hector i said hector please hold it hold it turn the power on that doesn't we couldn't and it just boom it wasn't even dry, and I just messed the paint up. So it dried, took all the paint off. I said, paint the thing green. The car wants to stay green, Thank no you. questions asked. And I'll see if I could. I got that one trunk, but it's still not going to be wide enough, right? This thing is so wide. There's no Way trunk that's trunk. wide. Yeah, yeah. So I think I got enough metal where we just got to make something up there. Unless we do, you know, that trick that we've done in the past where, where uh, maybe I take this fender and flip it in and cover this. Maybe it's just two big fenders. Yeah, here comes Javi. All depends. So I guess on the freeway, a little something happened. <laughs> yeah, there's the trunk. We just found the trunk. Say that again? We just found the trunk lid. So it's going to sink the roof right down into the rear deck. And we'll put a we'll put a rod through the center to give it that peak. Oh, I was thinking, yeah, staring at it, and it's like it's right here. Yeah, that can't be straightened out, though, right? I'll skin that off and just set it in place and show you a picture of it. And then you know what? Should I, should I get some hinges though? I uh, damn it, I got a bunch of hinges. Door? No, for the trunk to get to. Yeah. The pump yeah, and stuff, have we have to put a hinge. Oh yeah, no, it's got to open, yeah. We weren't filming, but uh, Jeff, who gave us the Morris truck, gave us these cool hinges too, so we'll make the, uh, we'll make them open deck lid. And yeah, the interior and the uh, dash and everything, I want to keep it all nostalgia, so we're probably going to have a console, but I just got to make it look like, you know, it's been there. Yeah, it's just, I thought it was so weird with the square speedometer. It's yeah. just like, oh, it's so modern. It's got a square speedometer with a, with a round indicator. And headlights are incredible. Yeah, yeah, it's totally Cadillac only with those uh, vertical bars. Oh. 
And then, so these bumpers, you're not going to use them. Can I take these back? Yeah. I'm doing, I hate to say this, yeah. but the Merc Eater Eater doesn't look like the Merc Eater Eater. <laughs> I'm bored. I'm that Stop guy that. that I can't leave shit alone. And I did it. And I'm, hey. I didn't That's touch the pen. Like well, it's nothing's finished. ever finished, yeah. right? That's right. What and I and you guys it. know me. It's just, finished. I never. I adjusted it. And yeah. now it's good. The bumper in the back, and that was all my idea. Remember, it was a big bumper, yeah. little bumper, little all bumper, little. And it was just funky. And I couldn't figure it out till then I looked yeah. at it and I said, what the hell was I the thinking? The was odd. It was, yeah, no. it was, yeah. It didn't match it the car. Better. Right. So these are the bumpers I want to put on there. I'm going to put those on the back of that. Once you get more into like the interior and painting, do you do that all at your place? Yeah. Um, I got my guys that in-house, I bought my own sewing machine. I got my guys that come in. They have other jobs. One works doing Learjet interior, so he's into that detail. And on the weekends, he'll come and work on my stuff. And that's why some of my interiors are pretty cool. Yeah. And at 10% of what it should cost me, I buy my own material, we go yeah. through it. And, you know, we def he's like Ian, the guy has an imagination. And yeah, no, Lino knows what he'll, he'll do a bunch of crazy Jesus. stuff too. Did you see this car, Hobby? Look at the Zephyr. I mean, the. Yeah, I know, I've seen that thing. And, I, and I'd already asked Ian, and I don't know if he I told you, I said, Dude, yeah. Right out here in the desert. Car, and I don't want it. That one, and Super he goes, good. "No, that's Jamie." No rust, yeah. <laughs> I don't I even cut out the floor to put the film because I know in, they're going to say he's going to want this. Yeah, uh, yeah, has all the chrome, all the everything. Yeah. This is you guys. This is the family car right here. No, no, no. I mean, we're just this is the family all, car. All things, but... Yeah, the problem is if I got it, you know what happened. To well, that's what I'm saying. I just I want to have something to drive for. Yeah, no, that and yeah, you guys. This is your car. Can you believe that is how complete it is? It's amazing. It's like a barn find, all that. And I put the Mustang too under it. And you did enough just to keep it original, but then update the suspension and update the drivetrain. That's it. Yeah. Super cool. I couldn't believe it when they came back. They were like, yeah, we're digging around. We found the box with the hubcaps, the taillights and the headlights and everything. So That's iconic of Unlike, unlike this one. This one they say, get out of here. Yeah. I still don't understand this, but hey. Victor, cool. uh, Victor says, every time I do one of these, he says, oh, you're building another Scooby-Doo. It's like, yeah. yeah, of course. It is. Uh, they are, isn't it? Tell me that's not a Scooby-Doo. <laughs> huh? In the dictionary, Scooby-Doo is Ian's car. Right, exactly. <laughs> hmm. I was like, all right. I mean, the boonie bug, all of them. They're all the same. They all belong on the same. But planet. you know what? They're not automobiles. They are art. The They're our reflection of who we are inside. We express it in art. That's Some people right. do sculptures, which you do too. But you know, all your cars. I don't own one car. I'll have a bunch of art sculptures. No aliens out here or nothing. Well, we don't talk about that too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some stuff Save happens. For us the secret, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I believe that that's a sad thing. I know. <laughs> they said Ian lives here. Yeah, NDA. <laughs> yeah. They showed up with the paperwork first. Yeah. Well, we're all good. I'm gonna get to cutting and figuring some stuff out, and by the power of the internet, I will be in touch. But it's a short drive to get here. If you do need to come back, but I'll just start laying out some parts. Yeah. And whatever else you need, I think. It's pretty basic. It's just three small enhancements, That's right? What One, I said, right. two, three. We'll so don't say I did more, because everyone, I, hey, you keep. I don't change shit. I just change a couple of things, That's and it. I don't change. I enhance everything. Yeah, perfect. But yeah, no, I'm excited. This one is my Pebble Beach car. In fact, it's a swan now. I'm right. It's a swan. It right. Was, it goes from the ugly. Whatever it to the was, swan. yeah, it's a swan. <laughs> Well, welcome to YouTube, Victor. Yeah. Thank you, and I'm looking forward to this journey because that's what we do. It's a journey, and it's a fun journey. Yeah. On to the next. No matter what they say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>